The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been defended by a Jeremy Vine panelist, after their recent trip to New York attracted criticism over their private jet use and its similarities to a royal tour. Nina Miskow branded the criticism lazy and argued that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had been pushed out by the establishment, which led them to step away from the monarchy and relocate to California. Speaking on the Jeremy Vine at Five show, Nina Miskow said, the thing is, they have influence, whether you like it or not. Just to criticize them for the very sight of them or the very sound of them has become such a knee-jerk reaction. It's lazy, they've become like the whipping boys. Nina Miskow was defending the couple, after fellow panelist Nana Kaku branded their behavior sickening and accused the couple of behaving like members of the royal family. The duo later had a heated debate regarding speculation suggesting Prince Harry and Meghan were filming for a Netflix documentary that would detail their post-royal lives. Nina Miskow continued, they're not necessarily making a documentary on themselves, but even if they were, what would be the problem with that? Let's just cut to the chase, they left this country not necessarily voluntarily. They were kind of pushed out by the establishment, they were pushed out by William, the jealousy between William and Harry they were far more popular than William and Kate so they had to be sidelined. Prince Harry and Meghan announced in January 2020 that they would be stepping down as senior working members of the royal family. At the time, it was reported that the couple wished to relocate to North America to enjoy a private life, as they had struggled under the intense media scrutiny since their wedding. Allegations included Palisades refusing to correct damaging tabloid articles, ignoring Meghan's mental health and that an unnamed member of the royal family had made a racist remark. Prince Harry has suggested that jealousy played a part in his rift with Prince William, after attitudes changed following Meghan's success on their South Pacific tour. Don't miss since leaving the royal family, Meghan and Harry have gone on to sign a multi-million pound deal with Netflix and Spotify, and have established their own non-profit organization, Actual. The couple arrived in New York last Wednesday, for their first post-royal in-person engagements, as they spent three days touring the city. On Thursday, they joined the mayor of New York, Bill de Blasio, for a photo call at One World Trade Center, and attended a roundtable discussion with the World Health Organization. Other engagements included a visit to a Harlem primary school, a meeting with the U.S. Ambassador for the U.N., and an appearance at the Global Citizen Live concert. Whilst in New York, the couple were accompanied by several security guards, as well as a number of NYPD officers.